how to know that the Spirit of God or the Holy Spirit is upon a person. Genesis 6 verse 3, the Bible said that uh, this is, was the time when people were sinning. Then the Lord said on verse 3, my spirit shall not remain on man forever. There shall be one twenty years. So if you want the Spirit of God remaining on you forever, one, you need to live a holy life. So as you, you, you receive salvation, meaning the Spirit of God is dwelling on you forever. Dwelling on you forever. Number two, you have power. According to Act 1, verse 8, the Bible says that uh, you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. So all those leaders, uh, the church leaders who do not have power, the Holy Spirit is not upon them. If it is upon them, meaning uh, they, are not, uh, they are not activating the Holy Spirit. We can activate the Holy Spirit by fasting, by doing what God says. You shall receive power, and this is the second, and you'll be my witness in Judea, in uh, Samaria, and to the all but all the world. So if you're not witnessing about Jesus, if you're not witnessing about uh, his coming, uh, the resurrection of him, if you're not witnessing that Jesus is God, then the Holy Spirit is not upon you. You are just claiming the Holy Spirit is not yet upon you. Number two, you shall be prophesying. Number three, you shall be having dreams. Number four, you shall be seeing vision. Why am I saying so? Uh, it is according to the uh, prophet Joel. Prophet Joel. Uh, in uh, Joel 2 verse 28, the Bible says that afterward or in the last days, I will pour out my spirit on everyone. Sons and daughters shall be prophesying. So if you are a son, you are a daughter in Christ, you, you shall be able to prophesy. Old people shall have dreams. Doesn't mean that necessarily the old people when you become old, you know, if you are growing in spirit, then you should be having dreams. Young men shall see vision. We are able to see vision because the Holy Spirit is upon us. We are able to see things and come to pass because the Holy Spirit is upon us. The other, the other thing is that uh, you'll be able to preach, to heal, to, 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 to make the blind see, the lame walk. According to Isaiah 61, uh, this one, the Bible says that the Spirit of God is upon me. I shall proclaim the message to the poor. I shall deliver their place. Lame will walk, blind will see, the dead will come back to life. This is the same statement that Jesus replied to John when he asked, are you the one or should we expect another one? He said, go and tell John that lame people are walking, dead people are coming back to life, blind people are seeing. So these are some of the things that can make you perceive that the Holy Spirit is upon uh, somebody. Then the Spirit of God is the Spirit of love. According to Galatians, uh, Galatians 5, 21, verse 21 going down, you understand the fruit of the Holy Spirit. So if you are not seeing those fruit of the Holy Spirit upon somebody, then there is a question mark that they have got the Holy Spirit. That doesn't mean that if you prophesy, then you have got the Holy Spirit. No. The Bible says that uh, whenever Moses does anything in Egypt, even the Egyptian could do it. So, even the wizard could see spiritually. That uh, slave girl in Acts 16, verse 16, who said, listen to them, they are men of God. Uh, she was not using the Holy Spirit. She was using um, uh, the, spirit of, uh, the spirit of the wicked. Uh, the, that's what I can say. But she was able to say the accurate thing, but the spirit was not from God. So, these are the signs that you can perceive that somebody has got the Holy Spirit.